The title of our paper is A Crooked Tail Carriage in Horses. Increased prevalence in lame horses and those with thoracolumbar epaxial muscle tension or sacroiliac joint region pain. I'm Kirsty Hibbs, the first author of this paper. This study was undertaken when I was a student at the University of Cambridge and I've since graduated and I'm affiliated with Anchorage Barn Equine Clinic in North Norfolk. I had the very great privilege of working alongside Dr Gavin Jarvis and Dr Sue Dyson for this project and their affiliations can be seen on the slide. The rationale for undertaking this project is that the cause and clinical significance of a crooked tail carriage is unknown. Some owners report that a crooked tail carriage has been present since the time of purchase of their horse, whilst others believe that the onset of a crooked tail coincides with perceived lameness or poor performance issues. To try to answer the question of whether a crooked tail carriage is correlated with lameness, we took 520 horses presented for lameness or poor performance to Dr Sue Dyson between 2015 and 2018. We also took 170 non-lame horses and that came from a variety of sources including pre-purchase exams, uh, an unrelated study involving dressage and show jumping horses and a cross-section of horses competing at show jumping and eventing at a variety of levels and of a variety of ages. All horses were examined ridden and lame horses were also examined in hand and on the lunge. We recorded variables including tail carriage, lameness, musculoskeletal factors and tack related parameters um, as being either present or absent and if present, if they had a direction to the left or to the right. We were then able to compare the frequency of the occurrence of such traits in two by two contingency tables and analyse this using Fisher's exact test or chi-squared. Our principal finding was that crooked tail carriage occurred more frequently in lame horses compared with non-lame horses. 32.5% of lame horses showed a crooked tail, compared with just 5.3% of non-lame horses. The direction of the crooked tail was not correlated with the predominantly lame limb. Interestingly, we found that 61% of horses with a crooked tail held the crooked tail to the left, compared with 30% of horses that held the crooked tail to the right. Less than 10% of horses showed a bilateral crooked tail carriage, carrying the tail to the left on the left rein and to the right on the right rein. We discuss our hypotheses as to why we have an association between lameness, but not between direction of lameness and direction of crooked tail carriage, and also why we have so many more horses holding their tails to the left compared to the right in the discussion part of our paper. The implications of this research are that recognition of a crooked tail carriage may allow earlier identification of lameness issues by lay people, with important implications for equine welfare and potentially also with outcomes. We really hope that you enjoy uh, reading our paper and we'd like to thank uh, EBE for very kindly publishing it.